But I want you to really reflect and think about that. Is your job a better place because you work there? Is your partner better because you're in that relationship? Is the sport you play or the sport you coach or the subject you teach, are those children, are those players, are those colleagues any better by having interacted with you? Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. going on successors and welcome to the speak your success podcast i'm your host jonathan jones and today we're coming at you with another fast break friday that's right a fast break friday in this podcast the speak your success podcast for those of you who may be listening for the first time the podcast is here to serve as a platform to provide you self-help strategies to provide you inspiration And also just for me to add a personal touch. So some days I might share something that might seem like a blog or uh, somewhat of a personal journal entry, just feeling, just sharing my feelings and just sharing my heart. But then other days we might go a little bit deeper with an interview. And then lastly, sometimes we might just go with some straight motivation. And today I want to ask you, because I've been reflecting lately and somebody wrote me a message on Twitter the other day. And they wrote me what they were challenging themselves to go forward and do. So after uh, I read the message, then I wanted to propose the question to you or pose the question to you. Is the world a better place because you were here? We, We all have jobs. We all have careers. We all have a particular path where we're striving toward being greater every day. We all have relationships and we all have different things that we're doing on a daily basis. But is the world a better place because we're here? And I want you to begin just to ask yourself that and begin to just reflect on that for some time. Just take a second. Hmm. That was a pause for emphasis. But I want you to really reflect and think about that. Is your job a better place because you work there? Is your partner better because you're in that relationship? Is the sport you play or the sport you coach or the subject you teach, are those children, are those players, are those colleagues any better by having interacted with you? And and when we began to come to this level of accountability, then this is what begins to challenge us for true greatness. This is what begins to hold us accountable because now we're putting some faces to our movement. We're putting some faces to what we're doing. We're going forward and we're not just lollygagging and going with the wind and everything goes right so we go right and everything goes left so we go left. Mm, 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 mm. Now it's time to begin to hold ourselves accountable to leave an impact on the world. In a presentation I did just the other day, I talked about being legendary. We, we know there's a lot of greats. When it comes to sports, we know there's Michael Jordan. We know there's Kobe Bryant. When it comes to football, there, there's, your, there's your Steve Youngs. You know, when, when it comes to football, there's your Jerry Rices. There's your Michael Irvings. There's your Troy Aikmans. But when it comes to teaching, who, who do we have? When it comes to being a police officer, who do we have? When it comes to being a legendary parent, a legendary father, a legendary mother, who do we have? So understanding that now, I want you to just keep that question on the forefront of your mind. Is the world a better place? Is my career path a better place? Are my students, are my children better people by having interacted with me? And then, my friends, I want you just to give me that answer in your own mind. You don't have to tweet it to me at Jonathan J Speaks. If you wanted to, go ahead. You don't have to send it to me on Instagram at Jonathan Jones Speaks. However, I want you just to just, just to talk to yourself and ask yourself that. Are these people better 
for having interacted with me. And if you say no, they're not. If you say they're worse, then I think it's time for us to get to work. I think it's time for us now to begin to see, well, what do I need to do to make sure that these people are better from bumping into me? How can I become legendary by taking time to have a conversation? How can I become legendary by taking time to lead by example, to love by example, to serve by example? How can I put that in motion? And then when we began to get those answers, that's when we began to create a culture and a cycle that is extremely beneficial for service, but ultimately beneficial to impact others' lives. My friends, be great today. Be legendary because that's what you are. God has given you dominion, so take such. Stake your claim. Write your vision. Make it plain. Get after it. Love well, serve better, and ultimately God will be glorified. This is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?